It's a rant heard round Tiger Nation, posted on TigerNet.com. I am here to tell you all that I now actively root against Clemson. ESPN host Jason Fitz tearing into Clemson fans. You represent the school like jerks on social media. I'm tired of it. You guys are the reason that I am now anti-Clemson, Clemson. 105.5 The Roar. On the flagship radio station for Clemson Athletics, host Kwok and producer Kelly had their say along with fans. He got this ESPN bozo the clown who's on the air talking about how bad Clemson people are on Twitter. Maybe it's selective outrage. Maybe he checks his Twitter at the worst times of day with the stuff at the top of his timeline is all Clemson fans. I don't know, but the more I was thinking about this, the more I am just totally flabbergasted that this guy chose Clemson's fan base when we know that there are other fan bases that get their panties all in a wad about every little thing, and Clemson's people do not have that reputation. I think we're leaving off the obvious fact. He's a millennial with a sleeve tat. I can't believe we let him bother us. But I don't think one accusation from Jason Fitz can derail all the goodwill that the Clemson fan base has acquired over the years. I mean, people know if you come to Clemson, actually interact face-to-face with 99% of Clemson fans, you'll see the reality is that they are very hospitable people and really aren't representative of these few Twitter trolls that are attacking this guy. No one really believes that about Clemson fans. I mean, seriously, no one really does. Like, because people that come right. here know what kind of, you know, they know what the experience is at Death Valley and all that stuff. Um, it's only Death Valley on the field, tailgating and all that. Everybody, it's Southern hospitality. So everyone already knows that it's nonsense. On Twitter, Fitz posted that he made a factually accurate statement about the treatment he's received from a fan base with consent of his producers. Mandy Gaither, WYFF News 4 in Clemson.